This episode of A Trust Perceived contains themes of what could be interpreted as self-mutilation and coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. Mm, yeah, yeah. I'm up. I'm up. <sighs> Well, good morning, Miss Affectionate. How are you this morning? What do you think, Apple Paws? Shall we go through our morning scrolling of overnight reports? Okay, parking violations. What else is new? Missing pair of shoes. <laughs> Hope it wasn't a pair of those expensive basketball ones. Sucks to be you, kid. Hmm. Dangerous animal still at large uptown evades capture. What's that about? Animal control is still on the hunt for a large wolf-like animal that was last seen by animal control officers in pursuit at the intersection of 10th Street and Main. No trace of the animal has been found, and animal control officials are rumored to request police assistance if the animal is not located within 48 hours. Hmm. 10th Street and Main. That's right by... It... Can't. Animal control, how can I help you? This is Detective Juarez with the Portheim PD. Please contact the two officers who were pursuing that wolf-like creature yesterday and have them come to the police station. They may have information that could help solve a case I'm working on. Mm, those two officers are off today. Do they have cell phones? I believe they do. Then, either call them and give them my instructions, or give me their phone number so I can do it myself before I charge you with obstruction of justice. Please. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. If my gut is right here, my trip to the Hamiltons is getting moved up. I'll see you later, Miss Applepaws. Mwah. Are they here yet? Morning, Juarez. Who? The animal control officers that I requested to come by this morning. Ah, y yes, they're in the front waiting room entrance. Good. Wait, what's happening? Thank you for coming. I'm Detective Juarez. What's this about, Detective? I have errands I gotta- You too. Follow me. Uh, what's going on, Detective? I believe I found your wolf-like animal. That's great! Where did you find it? Is it still alive? Considering the condition that I found it in when I saw it in the dumpster behind Pete's comic shop, I don't know if it was ever really alive. What do you mean? We chased it for blocks and saw it standing over a woman before it bolted. Yeah, what on earth are you talking about, Detective? In truth, I don't think I know what I'm talking about with all this myself. So instead, I'll just show you what I'm talking about. Does that look alive to you? Oh! Oh, God! What in the sci-fi nightmare fuel hell is that? What happened to it? I wish I had answers to both of those questions, but I don't. I just have a question for you two. Is this what you were chasing yesterday? Y yeah but... Ugh. It sure isn't what it was. Fucking hell. It looks like a fur coat with a face now. Thank you very much for your cooperation, gentlemen. You're free to go. Just don't tell anyone about this. If you're questioned at all about it, you can say that the animal was killed by a nearby police officer because it was posing a threat to the community. Y yes ma'am. You got it, detective. So, did you get what you were hoping for from them? My suspicions were all but confirmed, but no. It was not the answer I wanted to hear. That's... good? <sighs> I don't know. I do know that I'm going to need you and your team to join me, along with a few other officers. For what? Where are we going? You'll all be coming with me, to the Hamilton residence. Hello. 
Good morning, Miss Hamilton. This is Detective Juarez. Did I catch you at a bad time? No, no. You, you just woke me up is all. Did something happen? No, nothing like that. I'm calling because it actually turns out that I have a very light day today and wanted to see if I can stop by a little earlier than we discussed. Mm, I don't see a problem with that. Were you thinking earlier in the afternoon? If it's alright with you, I can come as soon as we get off the phone. Uh, Detective, it... It isn't even 8 o'clock in the morning. Can't it wait until a little later? Detective, are you still there? Miss Hamilton, I'm going to need you to remain as calm as possible. Can you do that for me? What's going on, Detective? Miss Hamilton, evidence has come to our attention that Lynn may be involved in some capacity to the strange bodysuits around the city. What are you talking about? What evidence? I'm not sure if you're aware, but yesterday there was a strange wolf-like animal running around town in the area by the comic shop. What does this have to do- Pete found a bodysuit just like that inside of his dumpster last night as he was closing down. The same dumpster that he found Lynn rubbaging through yesterday afternoon, around the same time the animal control officers who were pursuing the animal lost it. But how- I met with the two animal control officers in forensics this morning, where they confirmed that the bodysuit found in the dumpster was the same one that they were pursuing. This evidence allows me to bring in Lynn for questioning on probable cause. This... <laughs> this is a lot to take in. What should I do? Just act completely normal, as if this conversation didn't happen. But keep her there. I can come with some officers as soon as we hang up. But if she isn't ready or expecting me to arrive when I do, things may go south quickly. If that happens, you need to grab your kids and get outside as fast as you can. Do you understand? I do. Good. I will be there within the next 15 minutes. Now, say goodbye as if there isn't much change in case she overheard any of this conversation. Okay. Thank you for calling to confirm. I'll see you this afternoon. Bye-bye. Act asleep. Focus on breathing. Lynn, are you awake? If you are, I'm... Sorry I woke you with my phone call. I'm just going to use the bathroom downstairs and be right back. I only have so long before she comes back. There are undoubtedly people coming to do something to me or imprison me somewhere. How do I escape that outcome? Should I change again? I'd have to hide or dispose of the skin. I, I don't have time to second guess myself. I'll change into Andy. I heard him wait until the night, so he'll probably be asleep for a while. Then I'll keep the skin in the sleeping bag in case Leanne comes back. Okay. Calm, collected, and simple. I'm Andy. Oh! Good morning! I didn't even hear you get up! How'd you sleep? Eh, uh, okay. Good. The bathroom is all yours. When you get out, I, I need to talk to you. All right. Uh, liquid, liquid. I need liquid to go in the toilet. This colored container looks like it has something in it that can work. Just push it down, and it goes away. Welcome back. So I got a call just a few minutes ago from Detective Waters of the PPD. They apparently think that Lynn is somehow connected to the bodysuits that have been found around recently. Really? How? How could they have- Yeah, there was some weird wolf-like creature that Animal Control was chasing yesterday that sort of vanished or something near the comic shop. This was only mere minutes before Pete found Lynn digging around in the dumpster. And later, when Pete closed up, he found one of those bodysuits in the dumpster that looked just like the creature. So much so that it was confirmed by the animal control guys this morning. I... I'm doomed. No. No. I'm Andy. As far as anyone knows, Wynn is still upstairs asleep. But I need to get out of here before this detective arrives. I'm scared, honey. I'm trying to keep calm like the detective said, but... 
I'm having a really hard time. A child is up in my room asleep that could be involved in some weird crime. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry. I don't want to stress you out, too. I'm going to go check on Lynn. The police will be here in a few minutes, and I want her to be awake when they arrive. No! We can't try to wake up when It's just a skin! And the police are on their way! Damn it! Damn it! Let her sleep. She had a weird day. When they arrive, they can deal with her. Yeah, I suppose it can wait for a few minutes. Maybe it's better if they take care of her themselves anyway, in case she lashes out. I'd never! You've been so good to... Stay focused. She needs to leave, but not touch the skin. What about Lou? He should know. Yes, you're right. I need to tell him, too. It's such a shame. The two of them were getting to be so close. I'll go wake him up. Okay. Lou! Are you awake, sweetie? Mm. Hey, Mom. Uh, what's up? I'll tell you downstairs. Come on. Okay, I'm coming. I wish I could say goodbye, Lou. But either I leave now, or I'm as good as dead. No! I'm too late! All right. I'll approach the door and enter with my deputy and forensics. The rest of you form a perimeter. As far as we know, it's just a teenager. But fortune favors the prepared, not the bold. Roger. Yes, ma'am. Roger. Yes, ma'am. I've got your back, detective. I I'm armed, but more of a professional with a syringe. So I'll watch your backs. <laughs> Appreciate it. Stay focused. Weapons don't go hot unless absolutely necessary. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Who's here, Mom? Please just follow me downstairs, honey. All right, jeez. Come in. Good morning, Miss Hamilton. I hope we're not intruding. Not at all. Thank you for coming by so soon. Mom, why are the cops here so early? That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Lou, the police are pretty sure that- Hey, Mom, what's the deal with all the cops outside? Andy? Wait, but you're- Mom, what's going on? No, 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 no! Who the hell are you? Miss Hamilton, Me? what's going on here? Who the fuck- What the fuck are Ms. you? Miss Hamilton, how many sons do you have? Uh, only two. Lou and Andy- Get away from my mom and brother! Your mom and- you phony piece of shit! You're not taking my life! Andy, drop the knife!
going to run to the store to get Andy's prescriptions. Do you think we need anything else? Uh, I, I don't. Honey, I wish you would talk to me. You've seemed so absent since Detective Juarez saved Andy from that thing. Don't call her a thing. That was Lynn. Sweetheart, you saw what Lynn was. It was a suit that thing left in the sleeping bag. Lynn wasn't real. You don't get it, Mom. She... They spoke to me with Lynn's voice as they died. Whether or not Lynn was a suit... Whatever that was... <sighs> Never mind. Um, I'd like some juice, please, when you go out. Thanks. I... All right, honey. Call me if you need anything or want me to pick up something else for you or Andy. Okay? Okay. See you in a bit. I love you. Love you too, Mom. Hello? Hello, young man. Is this the number for the Hamiltons? Yeah? Who's this? A concerned citizen calling to offer my condolences. Wishing for your brother a speedy recovery and to offer some nuggets of wisdom. Condolences? Nobody in my family died. Oh, I must be confused then. Seems to me that you lost a friend in the incident. What do you mean? That Lynn person. They were your friend, no? No, Lynn was the suit that we found. Come now. I know you're more clever than that. What is a suit if not a means of covering up what's underneath? I don't know what you mean. You do. You just don't recognize it yet because you're still looking at the pants and jacket instead of the wearer. No matter. You'll come to understand soon. Well, I've taken up enough of your time. All my love to you and your family. Ciao. What was that all about? <sighs> Whatever. Uh, hey Andy? You want to listen to some TV with me? Sure. I, uh... I could do that. Could you... You know... Oh, yeah. Hold on. Uh, let me come up and help you downstairs. Thanks, dude. Yeah, of course. Uh, how are you adjusting? Not great, man. I'm really nervous about where this leaves me. My dream job and degree are all super heavy on reading. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, pretty shitty indeed. But hey, while you listen, you can work on your braille. Yeah, that's true. You have the book, right? Yep, already brought it downstairs and left it by the sofa. You were expecting me to join you, weren't you? I wasn't expecting you would, but I was hoping you would. Well, it ain't shopping for major doofus comics, but it's still nice to spend time with you, Lulu. Yeah, it is. Now, let me know if the volume is good and if that glare is bothering you. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> That's bullshit. You're telling me you can't find any match for this person. Nothing from dental, DNA samples, nothing? For, I believe, the third time, yes. And because of this, the body is being transported to a specialty facility somewhere. What? Where? I'm not sure. Somewhere overseas, I think. Listen, I just signed the release form that was presented to me by two guys in very expensive suits. You want details? Take it up with them. I don't even want to hear the word suits again for another year. <sighs> Glad that this case is finally closed after what happened at the Hamiltons. Anyway, thanks for all the very helpful information. Have a good day. You too, detective. Ah, good. Are you the coroner, ma'am? Hmm? Oh, no. I just left her office, down that hall and to the left. Thank you very much. Excuse me. Yes? You're here for that body, aren't you? Which body? You know damn well what body. I'm afraid I don't. I'm here for an appointment that I have with a coroner. My business is my own. Have a good day, ma'am. 
My business is my own. <laughs> I'm sure it is. After that weather update, I know I'll be breaking out my windbreaker. When we return, a sigh of relief can be felt throughout Port Heim, as reports say that the PPD have officially closed the case of the odd bodysuits popping up throughout the city. With this, we urge you, citizens, to do your best to keep an eye out for any other strange goings-ons, and ask that you report anything out of place to the Port Heim PD. All this and more after the break. Don't go anywhere. This episode was written by Roscoe Brayman. This episode of A Trust Perceived featured the voice talents of Trenton Butt as Yin Seti, Lee Brigantino as Lin Yin Seti, Max Hertzfeld as Lou Hamilton, Anthony B. Perez as Andy Hamilton, Meredith Nudo as Leanne Hamilton, Jackie Gordon as Detective Angelique Juarez, Melissa J. Lackey as Animal Control Desk Clerk, Marcus Rothenberg as Animal Control Officer 1. Nate Washko as Animal Control Officer 2. David Gardner as Police Deputy. David Rush Jr. as Forensics Officer. Rob Schwab as Squad Car Officer 1. Elion Sanabia as Squad Car Officer 2. Adrian Whitaker as Squad Car Officer 3. Brianna Pearl as Squad Car Officer 4. Whitney Holland as The Weaver. Key Garland. James Takahashi as Hunter. Roscoe Brayman as the news anchor. Music by Key Garland. The Wayward Shapeshifter theme was written, composed, and performed by Key Garland. Audio editing by Jenna Oliver and Roscoe Brayman. Key art and logos by Ghost. And casting by Roscoe Brayman. Hi, this is Roscoe of Wolf and Magpie Media. Thank you so much for watching this episode of A Trust Perceived. On Monday, September 25th, we will be releasing a full feature-length version containing all three episodes of A Trust Perceived completely uninterrupted. If you liked what you heard, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as feel free to check out our link tree for the different places where you can find us and our content. That's L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Wolf Magpie Media.